Hey folks, my name is Dave. Welcome here to the headquarters for NTD Racing. We're about to get started. We're going to show you our chase rigs, but before we do, I'm going to ask if you like what you see here, please consider hitting that like and subscribe button, leaving a comment, maybe uh, ringing the bell for notification of future episodes. You won't want to miss it. We're going to be live streaming from the Baja 1000. You can also click on our website at www.ntdracing.com, and there is a link there which you can watch all of our chase trucks on Spot Wallet. There will also be a link for SCORE where you can watch all of the vehicles at the Baja 1000. Check it out. Let's go ahead and take a look at the beast. So as you've heard here at NTD Racing, uh, budget-minded builds is kind of what we're all about. Uh, this is a regular work truck that's in service back home. Uh, we just took it out of service uh, late last week, um, and we've been able to use this now for the weekend uh, and then put it back into service when we're done. Uh, just a basic F-250, a little bit of a level kit on it, a little bit larger tires, uh, some airbags on the back that help uh, get, get carry the extra weight. Uh, and then everything that you see on the truck uh, comes goes on and comes off in uh, less than a couple of hours. Uh, mobile command post inside with the radios and all the switches to run the lights. Uh, we've got all of our navigation equipment. Uh, so for the driver and the um, navigator, keep track of where the race truck is and where our support vehicles are. Uh, and even the guys in the back have some displays that they can uh, use to keep track if, the, if we're transporting uh, alternate driver teams um, to the next pit stop. Our bolt-on toolboxes on the side uh, allow us easy access to everything that we need for um, our pit stops primarily. So just some extra fluids, some supplies, straps. This side's got lights and safety equipment, uh, emergency equipment if that uh, becomes a factor. Um, you can see spare tires on top. We've got spare tires for the chase truck and then uh, spare tires for uh, Honcho as well. Since it's a work truck, it's got the lift gate on it, but it's useful for us if we need to uh, lift anything heavy here. Uh, in the back, we'll store all of our equipment uh, as we're moving and then it's easy to unpack. Uh, so just lots of extra supplies. We've got a transfer tank in there. Allows us to carry about 110 gallons of fuel. Uh, and then we can pump that into the dump cans uh, for actually getting it into the race vehicle. Just some basic organization that all bolts on. Other side has another toolbox, and this is where uh, most of our hand tools are. Uh, so just kind of organized by what we need, if it's a screwdriver, a socket, um, any kind of power tools, uh, anything that we need uh, to do a kind of a field repair on the vehicle itself. The rack has lights all the way around, so we're able to uh, turn those on at night for our pits, depending on where the orientation is. And then we have some tripod lights that we can set up as well for illuminating the other side of the race vehicle. Nice. This, is my, this is the stuff I like here. This is the wall. This is bad. <laughs> These yep. things are killer. Those work great. Uh, a lot of illumination for the, the pits. We'll set those up opposite the chase truck so that we can see the back side of the honcho when we pull into the pits and then we use the dump cans and uh, to get fuel into it. Let's talk a little bit about fuel volume. I know we did a lot of calculations on how much we're going to be bringing with us and what, how, how much in the transfer tank. You bet. We've got 110 gallons in there. Uh, we, we burn about seven and a half gallons um, a week, per, miles per gallon in Honcho. Uh, so we, we've got enough to basically self-support enti this entire race uh, with a little bit of supplement from one of the other chase vehicles. These dump are 11 gallon dump cans. Uh, we can kind of anticipate at each pit how much we need. So we'll kind of meter that out. So uh, it'll be a quick transfer into Honcho and get her back on the road quickly. Some other things here, we are running in the truck. We're gonna be running this Vulcan OmniPro 220 welder. And you've seen, I've, I've got two videos of me using this uh, welding stuff up as we're getting ready for the Baja 1000. There's two other videos you can check in my, uh, in our video list. We'll be running it off of this Furman generator. It does a really nice job. Let me show you some of the welds we laid down. You saw us welding a little bit earlier with that, but here's some of the welds we laid down with that welder. I think they're pretty good, I'll tell you what. That on a generator out in the field off of uh, some CO2, I'd say that's not bad at all. Nice job, Harbor Freight, with this uh, this welder. Let's go ahead and check out Bob. Here's the, uh, everybody loves Bob. This thing is badass. We got this bat wing awning. We got the CVT tent on top. We'll be taking this thing out there for people to get a nap or whatever inside. There's a couple videos of us using the new air cooler, and very soon we'll be testing the solar for the uh, the new air cooler. We got some wash stations here with the uh on the back of bob here's something cool with the solar that we're running right now not even the new air cooler new air solar with this solar panels we can run the cooler indefinitely 
we could plug it in today, come back in a year from now, and our beer will still be cold and our battery will still be charged. So that's pretty awesome and a testament to the efficiency of this uh, new air cooler. Besides that, just have all this stuff uh, ready to go. And of course, out here in Ensenada, I've been doing a little bit of surfing uh, before the race. So. so just to show you how well prepared we are for this race, Dave Johnson, amazing job. He thinks of everything, literally everything. What do I mean by everything? Check this out. I'm out of toilet paper though. Someone, help it out. <laughs> <laughs> Check it out, it's the NTD Racing Toilet. I can't even sell one of these, man. I wish I could on Amazon. I think they go like hotcakes. Killer, that is awesome. <laughs> Thanks, Bailey. Yeah, yeah. Which so we got my dad's RV over there. We got the Sequoia, we'll be taking that down range. There's the, uh, the B1 pilot, he's got his Xterra right here. Our buddy Scott just showed up with this Quigley Beast. This thing is so badass. A couple of guys over here, we're getting ready to go. We got my truck all dotted and ready to go. This is Bear's truck, he just set this whole thing up. Well, here you go, here's Poncho coming back in after a little bit of test driving, getting all ready to go. Back over here to Bear's rig, check this out. He also put on a Harbor Freight Badland, one of these really cool winches. He's got the one that has the Kevlar on it. Again, Harbor Freight really dialing up their game. When Check it out, got this thing all badged up. I tell you what, this truck is just killer. We'll be taking this thing all the way down to, uh, to Ensenada. And over here, we got my trailer. We're gonna be cleaning it up, but as you saw before, we also got, here's another Harbor Freight winch, the Badlands. This thing is just killer. Uh, basically, I think it could fold the trailer in half if we caught it on accident. So really impressive uh, hardware there. Here's some of the other kit we got in the back. I got another generator. We have a 36 gallon fuel tank uh, in there just to carry a little bit more gas down to La Paz. And then back here, we've got the ability for another generator and another welding setup. So trying to be set up for any kind of uh, eventuality out there, ready to go. All right, I hope you like what you saw there. We got at least one more video coming out before we start this race. We'll be testing Honcho. We're driving out to get this thing started. I think what about 11 o'clock tomorrow is when our start time is. Again, I hope you will choose to uh, join us. You can help us out by hitting the like and subscribe, leaving a comment, maybe ringing the bell for notification of future episodes, and we'll see you tomorrow racing this thing down La Paz. Take care of yourself.